What's up y'all? Welcome back to Double J Outdoors. It is Memorial Day weekend, which means lots of fishing and boating. It's going to be a busy weekend and I'm hoping that we catch a lot of catfish for a fish fry on Sunday. First thing, I just want to say a big thank you to the fallen who couldn't make it home. Without you guys, America wouldn't be what it is. Two, make sure you guys subscribe. It's free. We got good content coming until the end of the year when we transition into hunting season. Until then, you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. So the first thing that we gotta do this weekend is catch some bait. We're gonna get some trot lines out in the water like we did last year. Uh, one will be right here in front of the house in that exact same spot. And then there's a couple of stumps right outside of the entrance to this neighborhood that we're gonna set one, uh, set one at. So, I've got to get some bait. Hopefully I'm successful before dad gets here because once he gets here, we're going to floor it into overdrive to get these trot lines out. So let's just see if I can get some bait. So I'm over here, small hook for okay. looking for perch. And next thing I know, my line is going berserk. As you can hear, we oh don't you get wrapped up around there we have a big carp on the end of this line i don't know how he got hooked on this small small hook but as you guys can see i'm swimming there y'all go All right, let's see if I can get this thing off the hook. Once again, I'm fishing for perch for bait and I can't get them. This time I caught a baby catfish. Technically this is a win, but I count it as a loss right now because I need bait. So we're gonna get this off the line and release it and keep fishing. All right guys. Dad finally arrived down at the lake house. We are currently at the local boat ramp with the same. We're gonna see if we can't catch a bunch of bait for our trot lines. No life jackets, no throw cushion. We can get that later. So I'm gonna show you guys how we sane and let's just hope for the best, see what happens. All right guys. Nice minnows. We need about 30 more of those. If you guys couldn't tell, that's why we love saning. We caught lots of minnows, a couple perch, but man, those minnows are perfect. I'm only gonna use some of those for night fishing, see if I can't catch some crappie or you know some pretty nice sized catfish right there in the little channel. Uh, right now we're putting my dad's boat in the water and uh, we're gonna get it ready. This is gonna be our trot line fishing machine. All right, we're here setting our trot line. If you guys remember from last year, we used that anchor in the ground and then we ran it to the anchor of the boathouse. If you guys didn't see that video, we caught three big catfish on the same pool and we're hoping to replicate that this time. We'll see what happens. We're gonna get this thing put in the water and 
get it baited. We've got the first trot line done. This is the only one we're putting out for the night. I don't know how I feel about it in this shallow water, but we'll see what happens. For now, this is good night. I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, 6 a.m., and we are about to tr check this trot line, see if anything's on it. Just got to the trot line, and I think we have some fish on. Look at that jug moving. Both jugs. We got two jugs moving. That's a good sign. That oh yeah. Hand -making, hand -making that. That's a good sign. Oh, there's a big one up there. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. About the same size. Yeah. Sally, that's a catfish. Not bad. think there's anything else on here. Two keepers. That's a, that's a good start. Good start to this weekend. Time to check this line and get it baited with big minnows and big hooks and let it be overnight. See what we can't catch in the morning. Hopefully we got a couple more for the fish fry. Trot line is baited. So, now we wait. You guys have a good night. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Trot line was skunked. Usually you, could, you can tell if something's on it, if the jugs start moving. But there is nothing on it this morning. So, sometimes that happens. Trot lines are hit or miss. That's all right. Yesterday, we had those two nice ones. So, we'll get those cleaned up and have a fish fry. We are preparing for the catfish fish fry. So, we're going to get these catfish out of the water here. And I'll show you guys what they are. Somebody needs to add some oil to their boat lift. <laughs> uh, one of them came in at 16 pounds, and we didn't weigh the other one, but I think it's around 7 or 8 pounds. So I'll show you guys once we get them out of the water. It's time to clean our fish. Uh, we didn't weigh this one. It weighs a few pounds. Uh, good eater, so we're going to do what we hate to do the most, just cleaning fish. Now it's time to clean the other fish. This one weighs 16 pounds. So, yes, we what we catch most of the time, unless we catch a lot, then we turn the big ones back. But uh, uh, we need meat in the freezer. Sunday evening, getting this trot line baited. We're going to try something a little different than we normally do. Uh, we we went and bought some goldfish from the store. 
and we'll see what that does. My buddy Andreas decided to come on down. What's going on? So uh, he is going to get some double action here with Dad and I baiting this trot line. The GoPro decided to die while we were baiting the line, so didn't get to do any recording of that, but uh, we got every hook baited with goldfish and a couple of minnows, so we will see what happens in the overnight hours and check that line in the morning. Until then, guys, I will see y'all then. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. We just looked at our line, and we were skunked again. So it looks like Saturday morning was our only successful morning. But those two fish provided enough meat for a very nice fish fry. So we're going to start packing things up and getting this line out of the water. Well, we've come to the conclusion of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This weekend's been a blast. Getting those catfish off the trot line is, there's no feeling like it. Hopefully Dad and I can make another trot line video this year for you guys. But until then, we're going to get the boat loaded up, get the boat covers on both boats, start wrapping things up, and head on home. Until the next video, you guys take care, and I will see you all on the next one.